Let's inspect the runout or the straightness of this camshaft. So this camshaft is out of an ISX 15. I've mounted it on the V blocks. So you can see the close up of the V block right here. So all we've done basically taken the V blocks, mounted them on the table, taken the camshaft, rested it on top of the V blocks. And we want to do that just so that we get a nice smooth rotation of our camshaft as we go to check its run out. Now we can see the V blocks on either end and what we want, the reason why we want them on either end is if there is any bend to this camshaft, we are going to measure it here on the center bearing support using this dial indicator. So I've chosen to use a digital dial indicator for this demonstration, but we could use it with an analog or a dial uh, indicator as well without any problem. So we mount the mag base to the table, we set the needle, we zero that, whether that's going to be on the analog dial face or whether that's the digital where we hit zero. And then we simply rotate the camshaft without moving it on the bench. We just rotate it on the V-blocks and we look to see if the dial indicator reads any movement. Now, this is a digital dial indicator, so it's going to read positive as if it extends and it's going to read negative if it retracts the needle. Now, as I rotate this through, one complete revolution, and I've done more than one complete revolution, we see that I have no reading on the dial indicator face. It stays zero. What that tells us is that this camshaft is perfectly straight. There is a zero thousandths of an inch run out.